partner means somebody who's going to be very close to you on a subject that's important and you will exist or work together in a way that is integrated because you you're together you're connected in something so when you're connected with something right or somebody then you better think well about what you're connecting yourself to because if it's the wrong connection then you will suffer it's like touching an iron sort of bar if you choose to, to touch a cold iron bar then you will feel cold if you choose to touch an iron bar that's so hot right you'll burn yourself you're touching it it's the same thing with partnership so when it comes to people it even it's even more complicated so to make it short and simple always partner with people who are compatible with you in terms of values and priorities that's the starting point and values mean what va what you value most you know value is from valuables so your set of values reflect your set of what you consider to be very important and valuable to you so if you say in my set of values family is important it means you value family so therefore you pay more attention to family and you make decisions in a way that improves family or you spend more time with family and you protect family from you know anything that's damaging because you regard family as important so that's what value means if you say we value health right it means that you know you take care of your health and you everything possible to improve your health and you avoid anything that hurts your health so it's a priority issue it's what you value so when you choose a partner make sure that you choose a partner where your values are compatible because if the values are not compatible then you're going to be spending your time attention focus and energy on things that are not aligned and when you do that it's like you're going in different directions so how can you be partners stay together and go in different directions you see what i'm saying you may you 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 better make sure that your values are very compatible as much as humanly possible of course there's no 100 percent compatibility but 80 percent is better than 70 percent and 70 is better than 60 and 60 is better than 50. so the more alignment you have in terms of what matters to you in life what's really important in life the easier will be the partnership because then you guarantee that you will be focusing on the same important things you know together there's no conflict in that and when you do that together in alignment then you stay together in a more, in an easier way but if there's no alignment in values then how can you stay together if you are if you have separate interests let's say you and your partner value basketball let's say so it's brilliant because you will spend equally spend good time together in basketball but if you value basketball and your friends values let's say watching movies then it's unlikely that you will spend more time together because while you'll be in basketball your friend will be watching movies you see so that's the importance of compatibility right as much as possible when it comes to values so when you choose your 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 partner make sure that your values are compatible <music> then go into mindset you know world view the way you look at things the way you um, the way you view the world the lens through which you view the world the more alignment and compatibility between you when it comes to the way you perceive the world the way you understand the world the better it is you see so choose any subject so let's take an example if you believe let's say that women could be brilliant managers and leaders let's say and your partner has a different view your partner might say okay women have you know by default 
exceptional let's say traits when it comes to other aspects but not when it comes to leadership let's say so that is an area of conflict but if you're both let's say partners in a business and both think that women can do exceptionally well when it comes to management then that alignment makes it easier to sustain this partnership because the purpose of the partnership is that you work together or you are together work or not work for a long time to fulfill an important purpose that means something to both of you so you need to stay together in that course so that an important purpose for both of you is fulfilled so what you need to do is to make sure that this journey is as easy as possible therefore the more convergence the better it is that's why I said it's important to have your values compatible and your worldviews also compatible add to that also you know the way you think and so many different elements the point is the more there is compatibility between you and your partner whether it's in life you know socially or professionally the easier will be the journey the more alignment will be it's more the more uh, the journey will be smoother and the less will be you know areas of conflict because everything that you're not aligned with you know together could be a potential point of conflict so let's say you're 70 percent aligned that means on 70 percent of issues there will be a smooth relationship because you're compatible but on the remaining 30 percent it is possible that there could be areas of conflict it depends on to what extent you diverge from each other in this 30 percent now if let's say um, you're al you're aligned 40 percent so that means on 40 percent of issues you gel together well but on 60 percent of issues there's potential conflict you see and 60 percent is significant because you're spending more than half of your time arguing or trying to compromise or negotiate or even clashing with each other because you have different perspective on these you know issues that are included in the 60 percent so the more you have alignment and compatibility between you and your partner on as many issues as possible then the easier will be the journey the more fruitful it will be and then the easier will be the maintenance and uh, you know improvement of this relationship make it more fruitful and 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 the less areas of conflict you will have and vice versa less compatibility more conflict more tension and even higher risk of that you know one day you go on your separate ways now having said that i want to highlight an important issue there are of course advantages and disadvantages for being totally compatible because you also want somebody to um, to add richness to the relationship by bringing in different perspective adding more color you don't want somebody to be a copy of you a copy of you will be good you know nice because it's easier to manage you know you're managing somebody who is almost a copy of you but that copy that looks so much like you won't really add to you to a lot so time will be easier you know in terms of to being together but the comp but it won't be a richer relationship so you have to be really wise in terms of you know making sure that on the most important issues that really matter for this partnership you're compatible on the other issues if you have different views you know that will enrich each other that's fine as long as the core elements that bring you together are so strong that even with you know you with with uh, extreme tensions when it comes to argument or differences on you know on different perspectives on some peripheral issue you will stay together because your core is you know solid it's a tricky issue it's not a it's not an easy subject and and it applies to all aspects of life when it comes to relationships you know marriage partnerships business alliances between countries between organizations partnership is an important part of life that's why it's it's worth studying this well and investigating it well and taking your time you know before you make a decision who you're going to partner with it's a big decision 
So do it properly.